Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck you up. Dude. Are you though? <laughs> but are you though? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? <laughs> so bad. <laughs> So a little different start for today. We we're at Jim Walsh Kia because uh, Lily needs to buy a new automobile. Nice. And so we're here to talk some numbers and to do some things. And Ace is also here. And um, after that, we'll be heading to the Bellagio and then... All right, Mr. Who knows? Let's try not to lose $3,500 today. Coming off a disastrous session yesterday in which I donated about $3,500 to various players in the metro area, we vowed today would be different. About an hour into the session, and nothing really noteworthy has happened. In this hand, we open King Jack offsuit from the cutoff to $25 and get called by a Bellagio reg on the button. I check after flopping top pair on King 4-9 and the button takes this opportunity to bet and tosses $20 into the middle. Check doesn't mean I missed, and as you can see, I flopped a pretty good hand. I call pretty confident that I'm ahead here as all his hands better than King Jack would most likely have raised preflop. The turn pairs of the four doesn't bring in the flush, and I check again. He bets $30 this time. Again, I call. The River Queen is pretty non-consequential. Yes, it does bring in Jack-10, but he shouldn't have all suit combos of that hand, and I'm blocking Jack-10 of hearts. I check again, hoping he continues. He doesn't. I'm nine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you do me a favor. Will you use your wows in more appropriate situations? That was not a wow situation by any stretch. Just I'll listen, I just want you to be, so excited listen, I just want you to use them, like, you can't just throw wows out willy-nilly. Like, that wasn't, I had a pet. The worst. <laughs> They're trying to tilt me. <laughs> <laughs> I could beat Jacks. I couldn't beat Kings. It felt like pocket tense to me. It's a yeah. feeling. That's a that's a possible hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my hand, but it's. Yeah. You've been using a new lip moisturizer. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Like, have you changed something? Something's changed. Like, the lips look soft. I mean, they look a lot like like a lot more supple than they used to. Very kissable. <laughs> Very kissable. A lot of great banter at this table. And between the great banter, I was getting good at slowly building a stack merely by taking down hands pre flop. However, in this one, we do see a flop. I open the low jack with pocket fives and get looked up by the big blind. One never really expects to flop a set with these things, so imagine my surprise when the King 5-7 rainbow board appears. He checks, and I continue for $30, and he calls. The turn 8 is fantastic. Some flop draws have made a pair, and there are more two-pair combinations available. He checks again, and I continue for $60. It's at this point that 
the greatness potential for this hand abruptly ends. He folds. Button opens for $30 in the small blind calls, and I flick in a few chips to signify a call from the big blind holding 8-7 offsuit. Sure. Why not? Ace, King, Jack with two spades. Okay. I want to be done with this hand. The small blind checks, I check, and the button checks. Turn, 10 of clubs. Please, someone, just bet so I can fold. The small blind checks, I check, and the button checks. River, Jack. The small blind checks and, well, if they don't want it, I bet $20 in the button folds. The small blind laughing shows me seven deuce of diamonds and his cards hit the muck as well. Hmm? Sounds like he's having fun, at least. He requested it, bro. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> the very next orbit, the button opens to $30 again. This time, the small blind folds, and once again, I have 8-7 offsuit. Over the last couple of hours, this player has opened an inordinate amount of buttons. Maybe too many. Hard to tell for sure with such a small sample size, though. I call the $30. 6-4-9 with two spades. I check and he continues small, $20. Hmm. That's not really a thing. Not here. I'm going to act on my suspicion that he's just opening too wide and c-betting too often, and this is a pretty decent flop in sizing to attack. I check raise to $80. He doesn't think about it very long before he makes like a tree and gets the hell out of my pot. <laughs> You're so funny. Did I get it? Probably. I'm going to edit that right out. <laughs> and this one, well, we get a little out of line. With a limp in front of us, we race to $40 holding 10-9 offsuit. The big blind calls and the hijack calls. I don't think much about either of their hands at this point. All I know is neither is overwhelmingly strong. Jack, seven, six, with two diamonds. Both the big blind and hijack check it to me and flopping this gut shot is enough for me to continue. $30. The big blind comes along, but the hijack sees his way out. Heads up. You know what would be really nice right now? Eight of hearts. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Yes. Well, hot damn. The big blind checks and holding the nuts, I drop $60 into the pot. The big blind now tanks for a little bit, then check raises me to $250. Wow. What? Decisions, decisions. I'm blocking both flush draws and holding the nuts myself, so I'm guessing that she's either turned to pair or turned to set. I just call her check raise and quietly say a secret chant that wards away board pairing cards. The river ace of diamonds is not a board pairing card. The chant worked. She tanks again, much longer this time, and shoves all in for $860. This, well this I wasn't expecting. Unfortunately, I no longer have the nuts. How much faith do I put in this single blocker? This no longer feels good, especially as she's not the loosest player in the world. I call and lose to King Jack of Diamonds, because of course I do. You knew I was gonna lose as soon as she moved all in. 
I need to just fold. Well, time to rebuild. Another hand, another Ace King. This time, though, it's one of the named brand varieties. Under the gun opens to 30 and the low jack calls. I squeeze to $150 from the hijack and action returns to the under the gun player. He thinks about it for a while and re raises to $530. The low jack folds. Well, if we're going to do the thing, let's just do it. No, I'm all in. All in. Is that yours? I move all in for about two thousand dollars and get snapped. Once or twice, sir. It's up to you. We decide to run two boards and end up chopping up the blinds and the low jack thirty dollars when he shows the off brand variety of Ace King. About five minutes later, the low jack opens to thirty dollars, and the same player now on the hijack. Three bets to one hundred dollars. This time it's me with the off-brand Ace King variety, but I don't care. I find the four bet to four hundred dollars. The low jack isn't a fan and angrily folds, and that action is quickly matched by the hijack. I get mixed up again with that same player in this next hand. He opens from the under the gun two spot to thirty dollars, and I three bet from the cutoff with pocket tens. He calls. On a flop of deuce four six, he checks it to us and we opt to check it back. The turn seven shouldn't change much and with the betting lead up for grabs, he seizes it with a $30 bet. I make a pretty easy call here. The board is flushing and I still beat some of his value hands like nines or eights. The river pairs the seven and he continues for $230. That's a large bet. He's repping a pretty strong hand here, or nothing at all. I debate on folding, debate on calling, debate on folding, and finally lean into my history with this opponent and call. Two jets. God, nice hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not giving him 10 more. You can call security, you ain't getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Nice bluff, nice bluff. I didn't bluff. I had it. Ha! Got him! Got him! Oh, Jeff. For some reason this session, I decided to go after my buddy Jeff in the two seat. Jeff is a good player. Solid reg. A winning 1020 player. But he needed to get got, and I was going to be the man to do it. I open with 3-5 suited because, duh, and he 3-bets me from the button. Oh, no, no, no. That's not going to fly. I call. Let's see a flop. 6 of spades, 7 of diamonds, deuce of diamonds. Yahtzee. Perfect. If you haven't caught on yet, all flops are perfect with this hand. I check and he C-bets for $60. I call. The thought in my mind right now is that I'm going to check raise him on the turn, any turn, 
for a large amount. That was the plan. The turn 9 of spades falls which is actually pretty damn good for me and I begin my plan with the check. He foils it by checking back. The river brings the ace of diamonds and well, that would work just as well. The front door flush comes in and I have plenty of aces in my low jack preflop bet call range. Ace 10 suited, ace jack suited, ace queen suited, even some ace king offsuit. I lead for $110 and he tanks. Are you though? <laughs> but are you though? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? so bad. I need a. Billy won something? Yeah, she won the win. I don't know, the win daily or something. That's awesome. Seems like she's doing really well in tournaments. Yeah, she's doing very well. Very well. I mean, it's just nice to like actually win. Win, yeah, 100%. It's something I've not done in any tournament. Um, I've done, yeah. God, I want to do something fucking larcenous. It's his big blind. Who gives a fuck? Like, what's he gonna do? You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna, he's gonna call with King High and he's gonna go check, 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 check. What's he gonna do? To show aggression? Passive Yeah. I'm living off his big blind alone. It's keeping me afloat. That's all I, that's, that's all I got. I can't make a pair. Jeff, next big blind, if I do that, and you raise, and something happens and you lose, I'll give you your money back. Look at him, Steve. Yeah, right. Shame. If you, like, he's eating whipped cream and he's looking at me and he's stroking his <laughs> This is Jamie. Yeah, that's literally him every time I'm looking at him. It's like, honestly. I didn't do that. It's on me? He's been doing that every day. Oh, really? What? In the middle of picking on my buddy Jeff and his big blind, I actually look down at a real starting hand, ace-queen offsuit. Open a $25 from the cutoff and get three bet by a French pro from the small blind. I skip the four bet and just call. Ace-7-3 with two hearts. He continues for $80 and likely being ahead of almost everything except ace-king, I call. The turn three of clubs changes nothing, but the small blind now slows down and checks. I check behind. The river king of diamonds falls and he checks again. Unlikely he'd do this with ace king or pocket kings, so I gather $150 worth of chips and slide them in the middle. He doesn't do it instantly. He takes quite a while, but he folds. He would later say he had two queens. But enough with all the real poker. Let's get back to Jeff. Oh, just the man I wanted to see. <laughs> Two queens, please, no spades. Two queens, no spade, ace queen. That is. Yeah. Check. Check. 
Do you want do you want to win, Jeff, or no? You just I mean if we end up on the river in the best hand, then you win, but is that the is that how you like to win? It's like your Listen, Jeff, listen to me. I'm 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 being I'm being serious. Thank you. When you're in the pot, would you just like us all to check it down? Like just, I mean I can't I'll check it down with you. If that's what you want. What's that? I'll check it down with like I don't want you to feel betting in position versus the blinds <laughs> I, don't want to, I, don't want to, I don't want to put you out you know i mean i understand when you open an early position it can be scary versus the blinds we'll just check it down i love them i love jeff so much <laughs> you can tell yeah <laughs> i love him so much but this, this hand, I'm taking this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking this. Comes in. Just fight. Fight me. Just one time. Fight me one time. They're full to you. You make it 30, they fold on At least raise or call. That's, that's all I wanted to see from you. Listen, that's all I wanted to see. Good see how good that feels? Lead a horse to water. You're a good coach. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying. <laughs>